Hi and welcome to a small walkthrough about the beginning of Age of Conan. I'm playing with Arby. Arby, say hi. Hey guys, I'm Arby. Arby still. Um, I personally never played Age of Conan before, so I'm a total noob now. We're gonna go through character creation and Dan is gonna give me a bit of a backup and, and some help. Because uh, obviously he's played this extensively. Right. So let's start with the character creation. Age of Conan Unchained is the free-to-play version of Age of Conan, and now uh, they changed it in December. Before that, you could only play four classes. Now you're not limited to any classes, as, as far as I know. So, first choice, male or female? We'll go with the male. Well. So, there are four. Ah, there are four cultures now. Um, the cultures depend um, and don't really um, influence much of your starting area. Also, it just influences which classes you can play and um, some. And some of these and um, some of these classes. Um, are um, uh, 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 anti culture influences which of the area you visit when you reach level 20. That's pretty much the only difference. And if you play in a group, you can travel anywhere. So just choose the race that you are feeling most comfortable with. I think I'm going with a classic since this is Age of Conan. We're going with a Cimmerian Barbarian. Character names. So let's go over the classes a little uh, quick. Um, these are the three classes that um, um, that will serve as the tank in the end game, and um, they can take a lot of damage, but don't deal a lot and um, don't deal that much. The Conqueror is more like the uh, like the Offe um, the, the, office tank, uh, the offensive tank, the guardian is defense tank, and Dark Templar is like real trade. <laughs> okay. At least it was it was like that when the game was and hopefully maybe a patch. Then you have the, um, the priests. The priest of Mitra is the strongest healer. The Tempest of Sith is like a weird mix of healing and damage, it's like a, you, you, a personal healer. And the Bershaman is a very good um, mix, mixture between offensive um, attacks and um, healing. Well, with the rogues, you have the Barbarian. The Barbarian is a good mix-up of all classes. He, he's, as far as I remember, the only one that can use all two-handed weapons. And um, it's all around fun to play the barbarian. Um, the assassin is pretty weak in this game when you, when you compare it to other assassins in other games because every class can go stealth and can sneak up on somebody. But the assassin gets big bonuses if you if you hit somebody from behind and is he's maybe best described as the one shot killer. Then you get the ranger. The ranger has a very very nice ability that, um, where you can track other players and if you want to be a player killer play a ranger um demonologist is my favorite class it's like um, um it's like the the power mage in other uh, in other games you can um, and you can hit from the distance and um, the complex gaming, uh, the, the complex battle system in the Age of Conan is void if you play the Demonologist because all you do is hit one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, like in World of Warcraft. Pretty easy to play. If you want it easy, play a Demonologist. The Herald of Zotli is pretty much a mixture between the Barbarian and the Demonologist. Um, you fight with uh, you fly fighting close combat but you uh, um, you have um, you can turn yourself into a demon and get a power boost out of this he's a pretty strong close combat warrior 
And then Necromancer, well, it's a Necromancer. <laughs> what do you want? It's, um, um, he can be pretty nice, but um, yeah. the performance in Age of Conan always dropped pretty and uh, drop pretty low because of the necromancers because they spawn so many on that so I would prefer a demon a more demonologist the necro and ne the necromancers don't do that much uh, or never did that much for me in the end game so I think we're ready you could custom customize your hero but um, we're gonna skip that the body mark um, that you see here is like the um, is, 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 um, is the story of the main quest up to level eighty. You um, you go just to get rid of this branding. So since you will stick with it for level uh, for eighty levels, maybe you want to place it somebody else. Ah, oh, you cannot place it. I should have played it again, not like three years ago. <laughs> well, let's randomize the shit. Good. And we need black hair. So. Well, I'm ready. Are we high? Right, I don't know. So looking, looking at the at character, character uh, uh, screen, uh, I think I want to go with uh, either a ranger or barbarian, uh, Aquilonian culture. I would recommend you, uh, if you play it for the first time, take a close combat character like a conqueror or a barbarian or a herald of Totley because the close combat system is what made this game special back in the days. And this game has very nice fatalities and Okay, okay. alright, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Conqueror, um, since it can handle two-handed edged and etc. Yeah, Conqueror is nice. And, um, should I just enter the game or go and customize? However you want it. I just accepted the... Uh, I just started it. Okay, can you turn the sound down a little bit? Down? Yeah, yeah I can, I can hear, hear anything that comes from your speakers. 
I can hear it. I can hear it barely. Okay. okay. Does it get loud enough? Yes. Right, so fell out the ship, sinking to the ground. Yeah. As soon as you arrive on the island, you talk with Kalantas and then you're off doing your quest. Okay. Up in your front, up, up front is a, a character with a um um with a um uh, um also the title fuck exclamation mark exclamation mark and yeah he she gives you the first quest. May you have to hunt down a scavenger. You go to the right, you find the scavenger, and then you press, you can do different combos. In the beginning, you don't have any any specials, so you just match it in. Great. In the scavenger, you get the key to free the girl, but you should go um, further along and kill all these people. So you get some nice loot and some clothes for the beginning of the game. It's also very easy, so just map away. As you can see, you can hit multiple enemies with one strike. So try to position yourself nicely so you hit them all. So, since we have our first move, if you press the move, you, you get a nice combo window. If you press the combo, you do this attack. On the side of your character, um, uh, if you fight somebody, you see his, um, you see his blocks, and there are like three wide rings around him. And um, if you only mash on one side, all these rings will um, will go to this side and block there. So try to vary your attacks. If you attack always on the right side, you will pull this shield on the right side, and then you attack from the left, and it is open. Right. So let's check. We have, have some boots. Put them on. And kill some more crocodiles for experience and healing. Here's the boss crocodile. Let's kill him. Past one. <clears throat> past one. You have to um, go to the beach, and there's the guy. And there, if you kill him, you get a key, and and this key. Oh. And this key is usable to free the girl.
Okay, got the key. But if you go further along the beach, you can kill some crocodiles. It's good XP. <laughs> Alright. So now we free her. All this stuff is just worth some money, so keep it as long as you can. So after you need to go, get into the camp, try not to pull all enemies up at once. If you just pull one enemy after the other, it's way easier to get through this. Kill the mobs before you kill the boss. Ah, So now we have our first potion. This potion you can drag into this uh, in these quick quick slots. So when you and when you decimated the two camps at the beginning, you can follow the path and fight your way to the path. Boss, boss. 
Oh, it's always nice to do the combos. If you do the combos and kill the enemy with it, there's a chance you trigger a fatality. And every weapon has different fatalities and they always edit new ones in. Right, so for example, I pick up a weapon. Um, how do I assign the weapon? Assign the weapon. Um, how do I assign the weapon? If you press I, you get your menu and then you can select the weapon. Just double click it. Right. Right. Uh, you also should wear anything you can find because you're nearly naked in the game. Fatality! Bam! 